Good morning, Andoni. Good morning. Um, never like to start press comments with, with injury news because it always feels a bit negative, but unfortunately there are some big uh, injuries to some of your key players, particularly some of the players you've signed in the summer. Can you just give us an update on where we are with, with Alex Scott, Tyler Adams? Yes, well, if you ask me for those particular cases, I think we are we are not close. We are not close. I think uh, they need the uh, time. The club signed the players knowing that they they would be out for 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 some games, and I think uh, Tyler should be earlier than Alex. Alex probably is the the one who will spend more time out, but uh, neither of them is is close to to play in a game right now. And the other players that are currently receiving treatment? Yes, how uh, close? from past week, I think uh, it's, it's, it's going to be difficult to recover anyone else. Probably the closest one, and we are thinking also that uh, next week we are playing three games. It will be Lou. Luis, I think uh, he will be able to help us uh, during the week. Uh, but I, I don't expect any anyone else for, for tomorrow's game. The transfer window is still open, so you do have the opportunity to strengthen the squad. You said you wanted to add to midfield, which you've done. Is that still an area you'd like to add to, or are there other positions on the pitch that you'd like to add to? No, number-wise, I think we have the players, we have the numbers, and now uh, it will depend on the departures, the, the players leave, we will have to uh, substitute them, but uh, the club is ready, uh, they are working for sure uh, for what the market is offering, so you never know when is the, the good moment when, when a good player is available, but number-wise I think we are, we are done, but unfortunately uh, right now with Alex injury, Tyler's injury, the one we had before, Probably we don't have the numbers today, but we will have them if everyone is recovered and everyone is ready to play. So when you say numbers-wise you're done, do you think that means there'll be no new signings between now and next week's deadline day? No, probably it can happen. Probably will be some signing because uh, there is always movement last days of the market in every club. So uh, probably some players leaving, uh, some new ones arriving. I don't know. It can happen, but... It's also possible that uh, there are no signings. Uh, the same way I told you before, Tyler Adams, that we needed someone there in the midfield. Uh, now I think numbers-wise, we we have the, we will have them because right now they are injured. We cannot play, use them. They cannot play. But uh, thinking mid-long term, I think uh, uh, we, we are we are set with with the players we have. If you could strengthen just one more position, what would that be? Depending, depending on the chances, the players that can arrive, it's not, OK, we're going to sign someone, no. It's, uh, we have to analyse, the club is doing his job, their job, sorry, uh, to try to strengthen the squad. Uh, right now, I'm, I have three, week, three games next week, focusing on the football side and how to prepare the games, but I know they are, they are doing their, their job. Exciting game for you, up against a new look Tottenham Hotspur side this weekend. New manager, new style and philosophy, no Harry Kane. How, how much do you think they have changed, perhaps, over the course of the last few weeks under the new manager? And how different a, a side are they now? I think they've, they've changed quite a lot from, from past season. I think they have a, a new manager, new philosophy, uh, different ideas. They are uh, playing really well really well. Uh, it's going to be tough uh, to keep the ball because they always want the ball, they want to dictate, control the games, the same as they did the other day against the United. But we want to do the same, so it's going to be a good fight. Where do you see Tottenham's key threats? Uh, they have a lot of threats, a lot of threats. Uh, probably when you talk about threats, you are more focusing and everyone is talking about uh, Son, Kulusevski or Charlison, you know, the, the offensive players, but they are very good. Visuma is playing very, very good football. I think uh, the Udoji is very good playing in this uh, position, a little bit inside, sometimes outside, attacking the half spaces. We have to take care of a lot of things. Obviously, we're still very early days into the season. Have you learned 
more about the Premier League in the last two matches than you perhaps knew? Have you changed your thinking on certain situations? Yeah, well, it's what we are trying to do. I think uh, you have to learn quickly, uh, you have to adapt quickly. Uh, I think uh, the other day, for example, playing in Anfield, I think we did very, very good 20, 25 minutes. And they adjusted a little bit, used uh, Trent Alexander a little bit wider. It took us not a lot, but three, four, five minutes to adjust, and they punish you in this process, you know. So we have to start making, taking these these adjustments. The players knowing the the different options uh, and do it everything more quickly because the competition is is like this. It's it's, it's really hard. No, very, not a lot of, of time to, to make the, the adjustments and we are in this process. It just based on what you said there, is this, is this something you have to learn to do as well? React quicker to tactical things that happen on, on the pitch and, uh, and then translate that yes, very quickly to your team? That, uh, right now we, we are prepared, we have trained during, this, during the week and we knew these things that uh, teams can do and different options, but then the, uh, the players have to realize, have to take their own decision sometimes because it's always difficult in a, in the atmosphere we have here in and with the stadiums to try to communicate quickly, try to give the instructions live quickly, and we, we will improve for sure in these things. Thank you. And Tony, with, with that, you said last week about how important the number six is for a coach because he has the, the eyes to spot things quicker. From your conversations with Tyler so far, has he got that insight? Uh, I think uh, Tyler is going to be a very important player for, for us. The way we want to play, he's very, very uh, dynamic, number six, aggressive, very good without the ball, very good on the ball. Uh, but right now we have to prepare without Tyler. Tyler will be out for some games and uh, we knew it before signing. He, has, he hasn't played a game since I think since March probably, so I don't know the time it will take him to to play an actual game and the time to will take him to to reach to his normal level, and we have to prepare now with without him. Uh, I think the his signing is is very good for everyone for the club player with his level wanting to come here. I think it's, it's a very good sign for, for the club. But right now, in the, let's say in the short term, I have to, to, to prepare and we have to prepare to, the, to play the next games we, without him. You obviously, you have a captain and a vice captain, and I'm sure every manager would like 11 leaders on the pitch at all times. But do you, have you sort of um, isolated particular lieutenant, lieutenants to have on the pitch, you know, who, who you want uh, delivering specific instructions through games? No, the, this process normally shoots naturally. You know, you identify the ones that communicate better, that uh, take these leadership roles. Uh, we are overall, I would say, quite a young team. In some specific players, really, really young for playing in, in the Premier League. I'm talking about Milos Kerketh, Savarni, that are starting our games. Alex Scott, which we just signed. Players 19, 20 years old. They're really, really young, and they will need for sure the the support of the the more experienced ones we have. And uh, there are some players that have to step up for sure. They will, and uh, they will help, especially the 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 young players we have. One thing that struck me from the the game at Liverpool seemed your approach away seems the same as the approach at home. So how how difficult is that? How brave do your players need to be to, to play the same way? Yeah, I will try to give the, this, this uh, to, to, to make them play the same way away. Sometimes you are not the only one deciding. Sometimes at home teams also push, they want to take more risks, but uh, we shouldn't change so much. We shouldn't sh change so much. Obviously at home with the help of your supporters, you know, the atmosphere, the stadium, uh, you have a little bit of advantage, but right now, I don't think it should be so much of a difference playing home or away if we look only in the tactical side. And one thing we've heard is that you don't tell your players, the team, until 90 minutes before kickoff. What, what's the thinking behind that? 
Yes, I usually do like this. I think it's the best thing during the week and even for 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 the game. I think uh, I want everyone ready to play, thinking that they they could be the ones in the lineup and ready to push during the the week. Uh, sometimes they suspect or they know, but for sure they have normally they know seven eight players because of their performance, the the way we want to play. Probably they think okay. This I think this seven eight will start, but there is always three four spots uh, that that uh, everyone wants to take, and I think it's it's a good thing for this com- internal competition. It's a very good thing for the team. Did you like that when you were a player, or would you rage at the manager? <laughs> when you were a player, you thinking uh, obviously in yourself. <laughs> Normally footballers want to play, want to play in your position with the teammate you prefer, with the tactics you prefer. But when you are a coach, uh, you have to think collectively. You have to think in the in the team, in the group. What's the best interest of everyone? And uh, that's our job. Thank you very much. And Tony Philip Billing signed a new contract recently. Uh, how much have you enjoyed working with him? For us, it's a very very good news. Very very good news because I think he is a very talented player. Also a very good guy. Uh, and a player in his situation that for sure he he would have other options to choose for, from. I think to take the decision to stay with 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 this club to to play his next years here, I think is is very good for also for his teammates. With the signing of Tyler, also it becomes a little bit of the same. You know, very good players wanted to come here to play here to develop, to grow, to do something collectively as a group. And I think it's a very good uh, example also for the for for the teammates, you know, it's OK. Uh, I think he's he's pushing from the first day. He, he has I think he has trained almost every session from precision. And uh, I'm, I'm really happy with uh, with his signing. And only today marks 100 years since the club played its first game in the Football League in 1923. Now, um, it wasn't that long ago that the club was near the bottom of League Two and, and now we're in the Premier League. And I know that you are aware about the journey that, that the club's been on. Yes, at the end, 100 years are 100 years. It's a lot of time. And I think right now, the club is in, uh, it's in the best league in the world right now. It's uh, playing in the Premier League, facing... Okay, we come from playing Liverpool. Now we are going to play Tottenham tomorrow. You know, it's where where everyone wants to be, and now we have to keep fighting, keep fighting because this is a very competitive league. So we 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 want to keep playing against these these opponents.